Hey, 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 episode 13. Oh, <laughs> big one three right yeah. there. Lucky number 13. Yes, that's right, lucky. Some people think it's unlucky, but I think we are lucky. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I think the listeners are lucky oh. that we've decided to bring you a special podcast today. How it is the pre-4th of July Ooh. celebration um, we got Podcast. some fireworks. We're going to get some fireworks tonight. Is this thing going to get, get lit right here, right now? <laughs> <laughs> fireworks, man. Those things are so damn dangerous. I decided this year that we are actually not going to do fireworks. Now, of course, I say I decided, but I mean, w- w- we all know who's really in charge mm-hmm. around there. It ain't me. Mm-hmm. So, um, so we'll see. But last year, uh, we had a situation where... We went up to PA and got some of the good fireworks. Oh, I, I mean, we got them from a real legit fireworks place, not the regular bullshit Walmart in a pack for fifteen buck fireworks. We got some shit that blew shit up and mm-hmm. was all over the place, you know. And so we typically do them out in my backyard, and everything's going good. But we had this one that I wasn't quite sure which way was supposed oh. to go up, you know. I saw where the fuse was, but it, it, you know, it was just a box. So it was like, okay, I think it goes this way. Well, it turns out I put the damn thing down on its side. Ooh, all fun and games to get a bottle rocket up the ass. All fun and games. Well, let me tell you, I lit the damn thing. And, you know, you light it and then you kind of back up, you run away a little bit and, Next thing I know, shit is popping off, is hitting the deck, the family's (laughs) running, I'm diving out of the way. (laughs) It's it's like bombs over Baghdad at this point, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it ends up going, some stuff went over over the fence and uh, ended up hitting, uh, my my neighbor had some family over and it hit, I think, his brother or something like that. So it was just, it wasn't cool. It was a complete shit show. It was a shit show, pretty much basically like I am a shit show so yeah. yeah so so from that I decided that okay this year we're just gonna chill and we ain't gonna do any fireworks but again I don't I'm not in charge of anything so uh, who knows I, what's gonna happen I feel like there's gonna be some fireworks you think on. it's gonna be some uh, well, oh absolutely there's no way you're getting out of that well well we shall see we shall see do you have any plans uh, just just gonna kick back drink I, don't know, I, I hear these there's these, these this new game well New game. Mm-hmm. There's this. Uh, I want to say probably a uh, more of a party school type of college game okay. called Stumps. You ever hear of it? Never. Yeah. Do tell. So going to a Fourth of July party where Stumps is going to be the featured game. Apparently, mm-hmm. it's as simple as it sounds. You get a big old stump of tree. Uh huh. Big log, just stand it upright, and everyone puts a, a nail. That's your nail in in the stump. Okay. And everyone takes turns taking a hammer, flip it in the air. However you catch it, you try to slam someone else's nail into the wood. Okay. And once your nail is in the wood, you're out. Mm. Stumps is the name of the game. Stumps is the name of the game. Now, is this a drinking game or is it just... Oh, it's a drinking game. Oh. I don't know how you drink with it. I think you just drink <laughs> while you're swinging a hammer. While you're swinging a hammer. Oh, so that should be very safe. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So you're going to see me come in. I'm going to be like uh, the boss in Happy Gilmore with a nail sticking out of my forehead. All right. Well, be, be safe out there. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> so so will you have fireworks with that as well? Uh, it's 4th of July. I'm sure it's probably So it's going to be. Today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is that is actually quite nice. Quite good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, are you going to have any crabs? Crabs on the 4th? Probably not. Really? Yeah, yeah. We had some last weekend. Really good. Delicious. They have been delicious. This yeah, year. I don't know what's in, what's in the water. I don't know. I tell you what, some of our listeners aren't even from Maryland, so they're like, crabs? What the hell are you talking about? Crabs? Ew, that's oh, gross. crabs. Well, you know, everyone is not as blessed enough to be from Maryland, so oh. they wouldn't know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I said that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and do not be fooled. Anyone who's been on a cruise ship or been anywhere else, when someone offers you a Chesapeake crab cake mm-hmm. that is not the same yes. as a maryland crab cake always ask if there's filler involved unfortunately a lot of places that 
that uh, make crab cakes that are not from this area. Ooh. It's like a little dash of crab. It's like crab flavoring, and then bread. I don't, I don't and even. Shit. I don't even know what it was. I tell you what, on the cruise ship, mm-hmm. Chesapeake crab cake was one of the offerings, one of the nights for dinner. I was mm. like, oh, hell yeah. Better get me a crab cake. <laughs> Just to have more sitting next to people who are from the Eastern Shore. So they're like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Don't you, do it. You, you poor souls. <laughs> we, are, we thought the same thing. We just finished our meal. It was, it, it, it wasn't even a hint. Like, think of what a crab cake tastes like. Mm-hmm. Delicious. It is a completely, it's my, you might as well say, oh, I ordered a meatball. And you, oh. and, and you got you got yourself a, a slice of salmon instead. Oh, like so it, it was, is it is a it was just way off. It was it was like a tart tartness to it. It was it was weird. Oh, yeah. It was it's its own recipe, I guess. In other places, <laughs> yeah. We might have looked that up and stay away from it for sure. But so anyone out there who's curious about a crab cake or Maryland crabs, come to Maryland. Don't ruin your experience. Yes, the best place to have it. Yep. It's right here yep. in the old line state. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Mary's land. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best state flag of all the flags. Oh. So beautiful. This uh, Montebello. I tell you what, I think we're the only state that actually knows what their flag looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. We're just, we're just throwing out all kinds of shade, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> right now, you, people are Googling, what's the crime rate then? Huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Uh-huh. How about yeah. that? You're the number one in the crime rate. Hey. hey. Number one worst drivers. Hey, it's all just like just like our episode started off. It's all fun and games until you get a bottle rocket up the ass. <laughs> 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 Lord have mercy. We are a hot mess. A heated mess. We are a heated mess. A heated mess. <laughs> I like that. A heated mess. Oh, my, oh, you know what is a heated mess? Just recently, just yesterday, uh, the, the some sort of announcement came out that Nike was canceling some shoes, some special flag shoes they had. Why? For the fourth. Now... Who ever really knows why anybody does anything? But reports, reports said that at the urging of Colin Kaepernick, Nike pulled the shoes back and said, "Hey, we're not gonna, we're not gonna sell those shoes. We don't wanna, you know, we don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings." So of course the interwebs go ape shit, and now everybody wants to go back to boycott Nike, which I thought they already were. I mean, did at some point did they stop boycotting? Did it come back? And not come back, you know. And and now they 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 drug up Colin Kaepernick's name again. He hasn't been in the news. I don't know since after the Super Bowl. Since before. it's I mean, been quite did, some time. Did, did he bring up his own name because he <laughs> yeah. lost relevance in like social media? Yeah, like what the hell? What the hell is going on? It's just so random. The whole thing is just so random. You know, it's like apparently they had already shipped the shoes to stores so they're asking the stores to send them back but it, it all it all to me is and you know how I'm you know conspiracy theorist it's all to me just false flags and bullshit like alright why is this why is this news coming out today two days before 4th of July Could you know what it, it's, it's I'm gonna call it the Kardashian effect oh this is which the, one Kim it doesn't matter. Oh, it's, it's all, all of, the, the whole damn family. It's, it's, it's orchestrated by the family head. Keeping up with the Kaepernick Kaepernicks is that what we're well, doing? All I'm saying is, look, <laughs> if you think about it, you think about how they they were the first to break ground. It was like uh, the the first per, first investor into like a new um, new job frontier. They understood how to manipulate media mm-hmm. with, with fake feuds and fake fights. Yes. And one hundred percent made it so. Maybe we should do that they, next they, podcast. Next podcast. Oh man, I hate you so <laughs> oh, much. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I'll tell you, what, man. you you create controversy, uh-huh. even if it's fake, and you're like behind closed doors, you shake hands, shake hands, yeah. But free marketing, free media. Look and, at you. I'm telling you. I mean, how, what what is what does Donald Trump use? The Kardashian effect. That's all he uses. Valid too. point. He actually has Kardashians hanging out with him sometimes. It's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, but, so that's what it yeah. is. I mean, it, it's literally a a new use and abuse for social media. Well, shit. We need to get on top of this. I know, but we got to watch out because uh-huh. Thursday and Friday, tomorrow, the fourth and the fifth, uh-huh. there is a 
a boycott of social media as a a stance against big tech. Did you know that? No. Is that why uh, the Facebook um, server is down? The, the 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 photo server. Everything's down. Yeah, the photo server. Even it's well, because Instagram is now is run by is owned mm-hmm. by Facebook. Mm-hmm. It's all down. Be, probably because, I mean, maybe it's that. But I think it was the founder of Wikipedia released an article about it. Because it was basically a, uh, I think the right, it was a, a stance on the use of your public imagery and how your information is being used and abused by social media. Oh. So they're like... Clutching my pearls. I know. So now there's, there's, there's going to be a boycott on the 4th and the 5th. So what are we just not supposed to use social media? I think we're just supposed to stay off the app. You know? Okay, well, what everyone can do in lieu of going on Facebook or Instagram, or Twitter. Tune in to this. They can tune in and binge the Second Take Disputed there you go. podcast. Boom. Got you covered for the next two days, boys and girls. 100%. <laughs> hey, you know, look, and I think we need to step up our game. Oh. I was checking. Uh-huh. Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. in the last month, had, don't quote me on this number. Okay. But I think it was 18 hours worth of podcast. Well, I mean, it makes sense. I think he he pretty much podcasts daily, and they're like two hours a, a pop. So, or maybe it was it wasn't a full month. It was like a week. It was something ridiculous. It, it might have been. I a can week. I can imagine a week. Yeah, I think it was a week because there was one he had two five hour set like podcast sessions within mm-hmm. one day. Mm-hmm. Like he literally sat down and just freaking wrapped them out. And this podcast is fantastic, by the way. Oh, I end absolutely. up I end up catching them on uh, YouTube. And now that I think about that, we should probably put ours on YouTube as well. Oh, sure. oh, look at that. See? Yeah. And so, again, you can boycott Facebook and Instagram, but don't boycott our stuff. How and, about that? And how about this? Maybe, maybe we'll do a little mix of Joe Rogan and all those guys. We'll do our YouTube channel. Start up a YouTube channel. Have a recording session so we can actually have a face-to-face uh, podcast interview mm-hmm. and everything. So you can I like the way you think Not only tune in, but you could also see us in action, too. And you want, trust, trust me, boys and girls, you want to see us. Yeah. You don't even want to know what happened to my haircut right now. Oh. Half my hair is gone. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. Or you might just it? tune in to tune the next in podcast. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that's it. We just wanted to come in real quick and give you a special pre 4th of July <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Just the two of us, the guys that started it all. Just the two of us. We'll be back next week with an all brand new episode and. Maybe we'll get the gang back in and we'll have more things to discuss. So that is that. Say good night, Shrek. Good night, Shrek. Good night, everyone.